What's up, everybody? I'm Kyle. And I'm Lauren. And we are the coaches at Team Cosmic Bodies. And today we're beginning... <laughs> Sorry. I'll keep that in. And today we're going to be answering some questions that you guys asked on my Instagram and my YouTube. So let's get to it. I guess this can be a little Q&A answer stuff. Yeah. So let's see. First question here is by Peanut Butter Vibes. I like your, your handle. Um, just barely going through your going through your old prep videos. Can't believe your eight percent body fat. How are your energy levels? Could you how could, could you, you barely get your lifts in? Were you sleeping all the time? Um, so just to answer that question, like yes, um, that's that's pretty lean for a female. But I just like adapt. It's like weird, like you because it's not like I'm like here now and then I get to eighteen or eight percent body fat. You know, so I, I slowly get there, and I just like slowly adapt. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty weird how that happens. But honestly, my yes, I'm not as strong in the gym as obviously right now. I'm like getting PRs and stuff. But um, yeah, I just I kind of like just adapt to the gym. Kyle helps me with my training. I'm still in the gym. I still have energy. Um, but again, I'm not I'm not trying to hit PRs because I know I'm, I'm weaker. And I actually sleep very well, to be honest. I, I still get my, my 10 hours. I really do. Like eight hours. But yeah, the, uh, first I just wanna knock that first thing. Usually people's sleep is, is worse during, cleaner, yeah. during a prep. Uh, you don't, you're not like tired all the time where you're sleeping all the time. Um, no. Because you're, it's kind of like a controlled starvation. Right. If she was just like really starving, of course she would just lay around all day. <laughs> yeah. But like she's still feeding herself, so yeah. she does get spurts of energy off the carbohydrates, mm -hmm. and then you have stored fat, which is energy yeah. in your body. So yes, energy levels do go down. They do. But she's a tough girl, and she wants it that bad, so yeah. she freaking brings it when she goes to the gym. Like, that's her time. She gets yeah. the caffeine in, which is helps yeah. manage fatigue. Yeah, and then I take supplements. I take some supplements by Core Nutritionals that helps me with my sleep and my stress. I take Alpha and Hard. Um, I mean, yeah, that, I mean, those those obviously help. Um, even, and even and the, caffeine. Yeah, even the fat burner has, like, some mood stuff in there. Yeah, and um, just... So, um, there's definitely ways to... You're just like, I just have that, that why in the back of my head and, and this, that focus. And honestly, like I get energy just like thinking of how bad I, I want it. Yeah. And honestly, like my focus during a prep is like so intense and, and yeah. Cause you're constantly seeing progress. You're constantly. So that like motivates you. And if you do get a plateau, they're kind of short lived. Mm -hmm. So you can really just keep improving on your physique and that, mm -hmm. and then like obviously her why of like getting to the stage or whatever the goal is. But definitely being 8% body fat is, is tough. It, yeah. it is. It's not you, you're not going to have, it's not sustainable. That's why I'm only there for a short amount of time. Cause when I was 8% body fat, I was two weeks out from my competition. So yes, you're low energy a little bit. Obviously, yes. And also, you got to think about subconsciously. She, like, she said a good point where she's like slowly doing this, so she's she's like slowly getting leaner. Mm -hmm. And subconsciously, your body um, adapts with even your energy. Like, you probably like stop grunting in the gym and working as hard <laughs> like that, or like you know what I mean. Yeah. Like these small, we, we don't talk as much. These small <laughs> subconscious things that you're doing. Uh, that you're not doing as much. Like you're probably subconsciously walking around less. Yeah. Doing things in your house that you would do if you had a bunch of energy and a bunch of calories. You'd be mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm going to clean today. And, you know, maybe sometimes yeah. you won't be yeah. doing that as much. But again, you just like, you slowly like adapt yeah. there. So I think that's what. But it is controlled. It, it is controlled. Yeah. I feel like that's another reason why it's like you're giving yourself enough energy so you can somewhat manage fatigue and, and recovery but at the same time it's like yeah you're definitely doing enough to get leaner um but it's so controlled compared yeah. to if it was just like thrown out in the woods 
then yeah, you probably would like sleep more and just like lay around more because you'd be like so like drained. those survival sh- move, yeah. those survival shows. Yeah, it's it's like, not like that. naked and afraid. If you guys watch that, like yeah, they're like sitting there like dying. Yeah, it's not like that. You're still like <laughs> eating protein and carbs. Yeah, and I still know that I have food like that I'm gonna eat in in an hour yeah. or two, like in the back of my head. Yeah. So, um, okay. Is that the whole question? Were you sleeping all the time? Keep your leg like, So you get your lifts in because you're a champ. Because she's a champ and wants it that bad. Yeah. But, yeah. And I, honestly, I save all my energy, I think, towards my lifting session yeah. and, my car, and my cardio. So That's why it is hard sometimes when you get that lean, like, to have a social life just because when you go out to dinner, it is. you're not eating with them. And even if you bring your own food, you're not drinking alcohol or mm-hmm. or... You know, have the energy to really talk as much as everyone else. You're kind of just like, oh, I'm tired. It is hard when you're that lean. Like, yes, I don't want to go shopping for three hours with my mom. Like, no, not 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 right now. I got a show. Um, Okay, so the next question, and thank you for answering. I I mean, thank you for asking that. (laughs) 